Welcome back. An increasing number of companies turning to outside firms to help curb rising health care costs. Retailers like Walmart are hiring firms like Cast Light Healthcare to collect and analyze employee data. The goal of all of this to identify which workers are at risk for disease and then targeting them with personalized messages to direct them to the proper treatment. Joining me right now is Dr. Giovanni Colella, co-founder and CEO of Cast Light Health. Good to see you, sir. Thank you so much Good for joining you, us. Thank you for inviting you me. Know, we we're talking all day long and in every show about the election. So let me ask you about first Obamacare and its impact. Do you expect that we could see a change to the current health care uh, legislation? Yeah, so uh, it's a good question. It obviously depends on who wins, and I'm not going to get into predictions there. There is no doubt that Obamacare was a foot in the door and the beginning of a tsunami of changes that are happening in health care. Was it perfect? No. Uh, nothing is perfect from the out going. If you think about Medicare, there has been a lot of evolution. So we will see inevitably in the next three to four years major changes. How big? It depends. If the Republicans win or the Democrats win. Well, one of the big issues when I speak to managers of businesses and CEOs out there is the cost of Obamacare. And they talk about how, you know, they want to keep employees in a small business under the 50 number uh, mark. They don't want to hire anybody more than 49 people because then they will be forced to offer health care. Are companies finding ways to get around this cost? Well, so first of all, just to make it very clear, my company targets big employers that are self-insured, so I can't claim any any possible way to be an expert on the small business. The small business. But what about but, what about big? Tell me what you're seeing. Well, big companies were seeing an escalating cost of health care. That hasn't changed at all. And if anything, now the trend that seemed to be smoothing a little bit, and part of it was because people are paying more out of pocket and we had a recession and then a slow recovery from that recession. Now we're seeing it picking up again. And that's that's really creating a lot of concerns. Another big concern was the Cadillac tax that has been delayed, but we don't know what's going to happen. And so that's okay. That's going to hit because then people are going to have, they can't tax deduct above a certain extent. So I would summarize it by saying in the big company, what we have seen is health care that was a benefit that everybody was offering and taken for granted. Now it's a big topic of conversation at the seat level. And People so are getting much more selective. Much more selective. In terms of even offering more benefits. Thoughtful. Uh, the benefit leader now is really a strategic advisor to the, to the C-suite. It didn't used to be that way. I mean, they were always very smart people, but they were more buying services. Now they're really thinking through on how to manage their benefits, and they're getting very creative with that. So tell me what they are doing. I mean, Castlight comes in, and let's say, for example, a company like Walmart, you've got all of this data on, on employees that you're monitoring finding the data, trying to zero in on really what and who will be costing the most. Well, so let me, let me, maybe this is, yes, that's a very, very good point. Walmart, we're very honored to work with Walmart. We get access to a lot of data. We have data on uh, patients' history, and, but let me make it very clear right up front. All this data is de-identified and Walmart never gets identified data. They get aggregate data of trends within the Walmart population. Based it's a really on important data, point. It's a very important point. I think you know people have raised, raised the issue of privacy. I respect that a ton, and I think that people who have wrote about it have good, serious concern. That's a very important thing, but let's make it clear. It's totally de-identified. We never give to employers, never mm. anything about a specific person and their health situation. Sure, understood. Well, and on top of this, the employee that gets to work within the Castlight system has opted into that. So they've decided that they want to have information delivered to them by an independent party, which is Castlight. Uh and, and so, by the way, there's a lot of ways to measure this stuff now that with technology and wearables well, and semiconductor chips all over the place. That's, if you ask me, probably the most exciting. I'm a physician. I've been in healthcare for 35 years. I think it's the most exciting thing that we've seen in a long time, short of discovering new drugs. It's the fact that with this access to data and the new technology and access to the cloud, now we have so much information that for data scientists, statisticians, and clinicians, it's like being kids in a candy store now. There's yeah. a lot they can do with it. it, it there sure is. And that's why we are, all, I guess, living longer, because we understand that we can actually get ahead of disease. Yeah, that's one of the many reasons why we're living longer. Ba yes. based, on, based on what we know. Uh, really important uh, subject and, and so interesting. Uh, Gio Colella, thank you so much. Thank you so much. I've, honored to be here. Appreciate you joining us very much. Co-founder and CEO of Cast Light Health, Gio Colella.